Whether you're a competitive athlete or just enjoy working out, eating and drinking the right things is very important. Sports nutrition is the study and practice of nutrition and diet as it relates to an athlete's performance. We spoke with registered dietitian Jessica Brown at Children's Hospital of Orange County about sports nutrition and also we ask her what are performance enhancement supplements and are they safe? Performance enhancing supplements include anything from anabolic steroids all the way to just protein powders. The safety and effectiveness of sports enhancing supplements is not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration before entering the marketplace. Um, so these supplements might contain contaminants or um, things not declared on the label. How can someone verify if these supplements are safe? To verify safety, consumers can look for supplements with certifications from independent organizations such as NSF, the National Science Foundation International, USP, the United States Pharmacopeia, or Consumer Lab. The International Society of Sports Nutrition uh, recommends that athletes attempt to consume their protein through whole foods. Even though athletes, strength athletes do require more protein than their sedentary peers, if a strength athlete is consuming a varied diet and meeting their energy needs, generally they're actually surpassing their protein requirements. Eating protein in close proximity to exercise has been shown to have benefits, including an anabolic response. What should an athlete do to recover after exercise? For optimal recovery, an athlete is encouraged to consume a snack within the first 30 minutes after exercise. The American Diet Dietetic Association recommends that athletes consume a minimum of half a gram of carbohydrate for each pound of body weight. So for an example, a 150 pound athlete would need to consume 75 grams of carbohydrate within the first 30 minutes after exercise. It's also important to include a source of protein, fluid, and electrolytes in that post-workout snack. Uh, so for example, taking that 150 pound athlete, um, an example would be eight ounces of chocolate milk and four fig newtons. And what happens if an athlete is dehydrated? Athletes who are not well hydrated during an exercise event are gonna have an increased perceived effort. They're gonna have increased heart rate and core temperature. Thus their performance is gonna be affected. But one thing that your athletes can do to gauge how well they're staying hydrated during an exercise event is weigh themselves before exercise and then after. And any weight loss that they, that they have after exercise is going to be reflective of fluid loss. And greater than 2% of your body weight, so for an example, 3 pounds in a 150-pound athlete, is going to start to affect their performance. It's recommended that athletes consume a sports electrolyte drink that contains around 15 grams of carbohydrate and 110 milligrams of sodium for each eight ounces. An example would be Gatorade or Powerade. And athletes should be encouraged to consume about half to one liter of these sport electrolyte drinks for each hour of exercise and then consume that amount at regular intervals during their exercise. Are energy drinks a good source of energy for athletes? Energy drinks are not recommended for athletes um, prior to or during exercise. One of the main reasons that, is that these drinks are highly concentrated with carbohydrate. And what that's going to do is delay emptying of the stomach. So the athlete might get stomach cramps during exercise and they might actually impede their hydration during exercise. Um, along with dietary supplements, these energy drinks aren't regulated by the Food and Drug Administration as well. So an athlete should be encouraged to consume adequate amounts of carbohydrate and adequate rest. That's going to be the tools that they need for um, adequate energy.